Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays. In this episode, we shall take a trip down to Siegfried Line, followed by an excursion to the Arctic region, and finally end our adventure on the fine fields of Pilsen. Don't want to miss our little trip? Well, make sure to like and subscribe as we've got plenty more where that came from. And let's get straight into it. In the mighty 60 TP, we've got Agent 47. Uh, oh no, it's Agent 26X, Agent 47's second cousin, three times removed. A bit slow, yes, but I assure you, equally as deadly. Well, once they get their aim on point, that is. Yeah, there we go. While it might not be the silent assassin, the sound of this 152mm gun is music to my ears. Huh, that NPC dared to fire back! But thankfully this particular E100 was kind enough to allow our assassin to recoup their losses. Oof, that one had to hurt. Hey, Chi, how desperate is this IS-7? Okay, now this is ridiculous. Phew, despite things looking a bit dicey, it's Agent 26X who stands tall after this engagement. And while our hero continues their rampage against the purple team, they are the only one doing so, considering every other ally tank is already queuing up for the next game. In spite of all the remaining enemies being tier 8 tanks, they might pose a significant threat should they jump us all at once. Ooh, glad that one bounced. Nice, good catch! Plus an Udes all alone? We take those! Well, aside from some technical difficulties... Alright, all that is left now is one Mega STA-1 versus the mighty 60TP. This duel should be easy... Whoa! The STA seems to be a highly capable NPC, one able to fight back with surprising efficiency. Ooh, it's down to the wire. No damage at all? Agent 26X has got just one HE shell left! Yes! The last shell finds its mark and Agent 26X is victorious! GG! Well, that game came much closer to a hard break than I anticipated. I have to give credit to the SDA-1 for putting up a brave fight against the odds and nearly winning. In the end, it's our hero who claims the Fanin's medal with almost 13k damage in a single game. Made even more impressive by beating the next best ally by over 10,000. 
For such a performance, we have decided to award this replay with 2,000 of our shiniest gold and a best replay style for third place on our list. Well done. We find ourselves on Arctic region with Vendar, commanding the Centurion Actionix. Now I normally wouldn't expect a medium tank to be playing down south on this map. I've got to admit, an unusual play like this does pique my interest. On the plus side, Vendar has already racked up more than 5,000 damage this early in the game. The downside is that once committed to this position, there is no practical way out. Yep, like I said, retreat is not really an option. Yet in spite of Vendar's best efforts... It is very much apparent that we have run out of allies. So, let him out a heroic last stand and hope for a few extra shots of damage. Okay, this last stand is lasting much longer than I anticipated. I mean, once again, we have to thank the enemy team for coming in one by one, but still, Vendar hasn't put a track wrong all this time. A feat which our hero will have to repeat for at least three more shots. The FB is about to close the distance. It's now down to all or nothing. The next shot will surely decide the outcome of this game. Oof. The FB is caught out of position! GG! A monster game by Vendar in the Centurion Action X, going where no other medium tank dared and scoring over 13k damage for their trouble. A true definition of a solo carry if I ever saw one, defeating four enemy tanks all alone to claim 2,500 gold and a best replay style from us. Well done! And our final replay for today was sent in by Golcore in the Kampfpanzer 07. Showing off, likely knowing that Zane Lian will be editing this replay. So how would you rate this climb, Zane? Got to love those high pen HE shells. 320 average damage with 90 millimeters of penetration? Yes, please.
Now, before some of you accuse Golko of abandoning their teammates, trying to hold that flank would have meant certain death. Now there's at least a fighting chance of pulling this game back. Unfortunately, the so-called allies have only managed to destroy one single tank in the meantime. And leaving it up all to Goldcore. Great. At least we've got plenty of spare HP to play with. Oh, I spoke too soon. And unlike the previous replay, hunkering down is not an option with no turret armor and two clicker heroes on our case. All right, that's not a bad comeback. As funny as that was, Goldcore is still only one shot away from a hard break. Oh, nice! Catching the T-150 off guard is just what we needed. Now, just got to dodge that FB-304 shotgun attempt. Oh, and an Amorak to win the game! Wow! Now, that was one heck of a best replay! Earning Delanglades, Calabanos, Pascucci's and Rasenier's Heroes Medal in one go. Goldcore dealt 7,000 damage and destroyed 14 enemy tanks on their way to claim an epic victory. A feat which we will happily ward with 3,000 gold and a best replay style. Congratulations! And with that amazing replay, we've reached the end of today's episode. So, as ever, let me remind you to send as many of your replays as possible. Whether you prefer what replays, what record or discord, we'll gladly accept them all. You know what we also accept? Your screenshots. So here are the top three Discord submissions this week. Carl Ryder with this absolute chaos. Love it. Tommy finding this cozy little oasis. And SK4PC4K3 with this gorgeous screenshot that's no doubt going straight on our social media. Each one of you shall receive 2,000 gold for these amazing pictures. And if the rest of you would like to get involved, make sure to check out our Discord and the Screenshots channel way at the top. And on that note, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!